फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश राष्ट्रीय ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अनदर टॉपिक ऑन प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट भी टॉट इन एम कॉम एम बी ए इन द सेकेंड सेमेस्टर एज वेल एज इन द थर्ड सेमेस्टर इन थर्ड सेमेस्टर यू टेक प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट एज अ स्पेशलाइजेशन सो ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इन एम बी ए एंड एम कॉम दिस लेक्चर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉट दैम सो इन प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अ स्पॉटेड टॉपिक दैट इज नोन एज प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल बट द टॉपिक इट सेल इट सेज दैट प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल यूजली इन्वॉल्व द ऑर्गनाइजेशन एंड प्लानिंग ऑफ मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस प्रिंसिपली इट इंक्लूड्स द इंटायर ऑर्गनाइजेशन मीन्स द होल ऑर्गनाइजेशन हियर इज बीन इन्वॉल्व वेन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल मीन्स फॉर प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटी यू रिक्वायर्ड फाइनेंस because all the material is what you are going to earn is dependent on the financial process as far as the material and the use of material is been dependent you have to require a proper human resource who can convert that raw material into final product apart from that you also have a marketing department who can do good sales promotion for that final product to be in the market and get successful to earn more and more profit so this is an vital element or event for any organization because all the profit depends upon the production its control its planning now let's see that what are the activities involved in production planning and control what are the activities we used to do in these things the first thing is designing of the product what type of product is being required so a lot of r and d research and development has been done and we see that this is the product which we are going to talk about determining the equipment and capacity requirement now we have decided that what is the product so r and d is been properly done that this type of product has been required this all type of product if we are going to manufacture it will be a successful in the market so after r and d we define the equipments that what are the equipments which is been needed to make that specific product and what is the capacity requirement that what type of machine we have to implant so that that capacity will be fulfilled to get the re- de- desired output so next is designing the physical facilities material handling and the layout so here both plant layout and the system layout both is been done plan laid out said that what are the different mechanism which we are going to take from where the raw material will come and where it will be processed and how the final product will become and what are the warehouses so this is thing these things are properly understood in the plan layout and after that in this specific procedure you have to install different machines a b c d and how you are going to install that machine so that minimum time will be taken to take the product from one machine to another machine therefore it is known as the material handling and the process handling now determining the sequence of operations and the nature of operations to be performed along with the requirement means how you are going to get the process done how you are going to put the raw material in the first machine that it is going to coming to sec- second machine third machine fourth machine then the final product is going to come how it is going to be packed and how it is being kept in the warehouses so all this operations activity can be properly determined by the help of production planning and control then you have got specifying the certain production and quantity and quality levels means you have to judge that whatever the product we have made we have thought that we are going to make we have set certain standards and now we are going to check in the last process that whatever the our output is whether it matches the quality standards of the product which we are going to make or not so quality standards should properly determine and the quantity standards if you are measuring it as a 1 kg automatically the final product will be of 1 kg so quality and quantity both must be measured before the product is being out for the market clear so now see that what are the objectives of production planning and control these objectives are very important 
as it tells you about the whole process of production management. First is to contribute the profit of the enterprises. All the organization who are working in manufacturing unit or any unit works for the entire profit. If you don't have got any profit, your work is not going to be fulfilled because no business can operate in loss. So first objective is it contributes into the profit because the best product you get, the best output you have and the best profit you can achieve. Keeping the customer satisfied with the meeting of the delivery schedules. So automatically, if you have a schedule chain, if you have logistic, if you have supply chain management and it is being properly set up, automatically the customer is going to get its product on time and when the product is sent to the customer on time and the quality of the product is good automatically there is a term which is known as customer satisfaction which is being achieved by the organization then the next one is to establish routes and schedules for the work that will ensure the optimum utilization of material worker and machines Optimum utilization of resources must be kept over here because it reduces the wastage of material, it reduces the wastage and the productivity of worker, it reduces the wastage of machines because the level in which the machine works, it requires electricity, different types of energy is being required. So by getting the optimum utilization of all these resources, automatically the losses or the residual will be kept away and we achieve this profit. The next one is to provide the means for ensuring the operations of the plant is in an accordance with these plans. Means here we are going to ensure that what are operations, what are the management we are going to do, it must have similar matching with the plan layout which we have done. Because if it is going to match with the plans and there is a minimum deviation so automatically we are on the target and we achieved our profit on time clear so these are the objectives of profit planning and control so this is very important to understand now the scope of production planning and control what are the scope where this is being used is very important so first is nature of input nature of input comes about the material First one is raw material. What type of material you are going to take? What is the product? If you are going to manufacturing something from jute, so your jute will be your raw material. If you are going to make something from cotton, cotton will be your raw material. Clear? So nature of input says that here, what are the inputs which is being required? The machines, from where you are going to get the machines? So everything is being required over here. Then second one is quantity of input. So you have taken the machine. Now how much raw material should be kept, should be put on the machine so that proper output can be achieved. So here quantity of input must be properly measured. Then proper coordination. Now in which this coordination is being required by the three things that is input, Input of what? Input of material. Then you have got workers who are working and you have got management. So there must be a coordination and the third one is the resources. Clear? So input of the material, then working management, working and then the resources that is the final product must be in a proper shape. So all these activity must be properly coordination. Then better control. Control is a mechanism which has been done by the top management. Okay? Say if a person is going to say that you have got a very good leader. So automatically the leader is going to help his subordinate to get the best outcome. So here better control mechanism must be required for the proper production planning and control. Then ensure uninterrupted production. So your machine system, that is the machine layout, plant layout should be in a proper manner that no machine should be in a free condition. If these are the machines, so automatically when this product will come to this, then this, then this, so this machine will be sometime not in use. So the plant layout should be made in a proper manner that when the product comes from A to B, 
it must be their certain raw material which will be turned again into A, so that this time when A product is been sent to B and B product be sent to C, automatically A will also work with certain raw material and B will work with the certain output. So this must be uninterrupted production things. Then you have got capacity utilization. If you say that in a month you are going to get one ton of the final output, so it must be capacity utilization all the machines all the materials workers should work in a proper manner so that the capacity utilization can properly be done then timely delivered this is the main important crux for any management because time duration is very important if you are going to do all the activity on time automatically your work will be in a proper manner and you will achieve best profit and outcomes now you see that what is the utility of production planning and control. So here, this is the main utility. This is the main relevance. The first one is last hour rush is avoided, right? So here, utility of production planning and control. So here you can say that last hour rush is being avoided. Last hour rush is being avoided means if you see that your product is not on the market and the person who in the market retailer, wholesaler are asking for the product, automatically you have got certain rush. So it can be properly avoided if you have a proper mechanism of production planning and control. Then problem areas of bottleneck get reduced. Bottlenecks means you have produced a lot of product, but it is not being consumed in the market. So it will be a bottleneckness over there. So whatever product you are manufacturing and what is the sales output should proper match. And if it matches, then the production planning control system and your final output in the market should be in a proper alignment. It must be proper aligned. Then cost reduction. There are different products. There are different same products which are working in the market. So here your product will be successful when there is proper costing system mechanism which being adopted in the product. So here by the help of this production planning, you are going to get the best cost of your product and you can reduce the cost of production by utilizing the whole activity in a proper manner. Optimum utilization of resources. So optimum utilization of resources can only be done if we are going to reduce the wastages. So by reducing the wastages, we are going to get this objective fulfilled. Better coordination of the plant activity. Better coordination of the plant activity means that all the machines which are there must be properly coordinated. The one product sending to another product to another machine should be in least time and by a proper channel. The communication mechanism should be properly done. There must be a system by which all the machines should be working without any wastage and must be in a linear aligned so that all the machines give its best output. Then better coordination of plant activity means all the machine should have a proper activity if you see this. Then benefit to the worker. If your worker is giving your best output automatically, there must be some threat controls. There must be certain policies where you can get certain incentives or fringe to the workers. Then improve service customers. Automatically, when your product is of best quality and your product is best at the cost, automatically customers are going to buy it and when the customer is going to buy it and they are being satisfied by the product, you are going to achieve the things which for which you are making the product and after product sales services should always be done so that if there is any problem in the product, you can change it or give service to the customer. This brings the customer delight into the framework and the customer will be delighted by that specific product. Factors affecting production planning and control. Now let's see that what are the factors which used to affect the production planning and control. First one is use of computers. By the help of ICT, we can see that how we are going to get the best layout. We can see that how you are going to purchase your raw material. We can see that how you are going to utilize your human resource management. We can see that what are the budget and how well we can put our finances to our business. So the use of computers has helped the human beings to get the best output. 
seasonal variations as you all know that there are different seasons and the raw material has direct impact on the seasons some raw material grows in a specific season and that specific season the cost of that raw material is less while in the other season the increase in the price of the raw material so by the help of ppc we can decide that in this month this raw material is cheaper we can buy that in that specific month so variations seasonal variations are very important some product has been sold in specific seasons so for that specific season you have to work before that season so that the product will be prior product will be in advance in the market so that seasonal variation can be overcome test marketing means a test marketing system should be done that whatever product you are going to launch should have a proper space in the market and the customers are ready and willing to buy your product after sales services means whatever product you are going to give to the market to the customer and if there is certain services which is being required there must be a proper mechanism by the organization enterprises that a proper sales services after the sale of the product should be given losses due to unpredictable factors there are certain unpredictable factors for example there will be some epidemic some rainfall or some seasonal or some earthquakes these are the unpredictable reasons which cannot be predicted so losses can be occurred by that and by the help of proper production planning and control we can overcome or we can reduce that cost then losses due to predictable factors predictable factors means there it might be some strikes which can be done there might be some workers who are ill there might be some uh, uh, problem in the machines so it must be there so it must be properly overcome so that losses can be reduced so all these factors are directly affecting the production planning and control now procedure for production planning and control how you are going to do the production planning and control so the first one is the planning stage here we used to do a lot of r and d activity we go to the market we search about the product we see the raw material from where you are going to raw material what are the type of raw material you are there when we are going to launch the product what is the best market for our product so all these things are been properly planned in the planning stage then action stage means you have to buy machines you have to buy raw materials you have to do and employ certain workers you have to get proper financing system you have to get proper sales and management section who are going to work to get the best in the market then you have got monitoring stage which is been done by the top management so you have also required a top management who are going to frame the plan execute the plan and get the proper activity so by these three activity that is planning stage action stage monitoring stage this is the procedure by which we are going to do our production planning and control so i have told you in this chapter that how you are going to plan the product then control its activity and proper managing the things i hope you have understood this is one of the most important topic in the production management thank you